So we're going to explore what I've been calling the dynamics of meditation. And the three main areas which interconnect and together make up a whole approach are intentions, exploration, and coming into and staying with experience. So I just want to open this up a little bit and see how these main areas very broadly relate to our own experience and how they connect together. With the word intention, I'm not thinking of it primarily as just an idea of what we're going to do, but I'm thinking of it more as a whole impetus, a whole momentum, a whole approach and direction where all of us is going in the same direction. And the second uh, main area is exploration. So this is an openness to what is here. And it could be uh, used with thought, such as the question, how do I feel? What's going on? What else is here rather than the obvious? But there's also, in a way, a more visceral uh, sense of how one feels and what this is a sign of. Uh, the body is always giving us little clues and indications of how we're feeling, what's going on. And part of the process of exploration is actually to, to learn the language of the body and what it's telling us about ourselves, how uh, we're getting into kicking off or going into certain reactions without even realizing it. And our body can show us that. So part of exploration is actually having a general approach, a general tendency to be on the lookout for what's here, rather than just given, having it as a given, this is it. The third main area is the coming into experience and staying with it. So coming into experience is a dynamic sense of what's going on, rather than a cool, observing, uh, logical sense of Oh, that's what's going on. Now I understand. So this is a much more vibrant approach to what we call awareness, where awareness is experiential. You're actually in the experience, and the experience is something which has a possibility of choice. And in that choice, there's, well, do I go in the direction of this old habit, mental state, or do I go into a fresh area, somewhere where I've never been before? So these three aspects of direction or impetus, what I've been calling purpose or intention, together with exploration and coming into the experience and staying with it, all kind of combine together to make one experience. And I think this approach is very practical, very down to earth, and very realistic. It has all the elements of mindfulness, the elements of ethical choice, and also of wisdom, of what is real here, and what is positive and uh, helpful to one's spiritual development. So in a nutshell, there are the three main aspects of the dynamics of meditation.